Good morning. Hi. It's day 120. <laughs> We're making breakfast at the Weary Feet Hostel's kitchen. What are you making? Mm, sunny side up eggs. Kind of messed up with that one. Oh, though. that looks great. It looks edible. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Mom's making eggs. I'm out in the main part of the kitchen here making some pancakes on the griddle there, but this is what the kitchen looks like. <laughs> Had a good night's sleep last night. We each were in our own beds. Ooh, oh, nice showers, but we got um, an okay day planned today as far as distance wise, and it is still cold. The temperature outside right now is 27 degrees. Down here. Yeah. Face, so it'll be cold up top. I gotta go check my eggs. Yes. <laughs> we gotta get going. Oh, oh, they're popping. Mm -hmm. The eggs are popping. <laughs> but um, we got a about an 18 mile day or so planned today. Um, we are gonna get slack packed today by the hostel owner so we can come back here tonight and sleep uh, where it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be a good day today. Yes. A little bit cold, but that's all right. We can do it. We'll do it. Yay! We are back on trail. Yay! <laughs> left the hostel, uh, and there is snow on the ground. Yeah! What it's, a, it snowed overnight. What a nice surprise. But to counter that, we have blue sky. Yes! Up there, very pretty. Woo! Hope that continues. It's chilly. The thermometer outside said 25 degrees. And that's at the bottom. Yep, and we're starting the climb right now, so it's going to be probably in the high teens once we get up on the mountains. But that's all right. We're ready for it. We're all geared up. We got a nice bus. From yes. Miss Lynn. Yep. And three pairs of gloves I have on. How many you got on? I have two, but they're keeping me warm right now. Good, good. So, <laughs> but uh, before we start the climb, I think it's a perfect time for an AT for PD update. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you to our donors that have just gone above and beyond. We're so excited to announce we have broke the forty-four thousand dollar mark. Woo! We are forty-four thousand nine dollars and. 86 cents so woohoo as of today which is november 17th 17th maybe 17th, something like that we don't know 17th or 18th it's thursday yeah thursday in the middle of november yes <laughs> so, but thank you yeah. so so much if you have been part of that and supporting yeah. us along the way and yeah. less than six thousand dollars to go to hit our fifty thousand dollar goal for parkinson's disease research Woo! Oh, but and we can go above 50. We don't have a ceiling, a hard stop at 50,000. So if you're considering donating, you also don't have to wait till we finish in Georgia. Not if, when we finish in Georgia. <laughs> when. When, because immediately 100% of your donation goes to Parkinson's disease research. Um, the Michael J. Fox Foundation has an anonymous donor that covers all the administrative fees. So you could be happy that 100% of your donation goes right away. Yep, so it's gonna be a great day today. If you feel led to donate uh, towards our cause, click the link in the description below. But we have a little over 18 miles to do today. We so gotta go. Let's get trucking. Woo! We are at the tip top of the ridge. That's a look to our right. You can't, it's not a good viewpoint, but you can see down to all the farmland below. Beautiful, humongous, gorgeous farms. Hi, mom. <laughs> and then to our left, there's also farmland down in the valley there. And there's another ridge off in the distance, much higher than the current ridge that we're on. More than about, it's probably about 500 feet higher than where we currently are, but we're about the highest point that we'll be at all day. Not quite 4,000 feet, but cool. It's kind of drops off on our left side and drops off on our right side. So thank goodness the leaves are off the trees because we have amazing views. And I never lose sight of mom with her traffic cone head in the, in the distance. Look, we have icicles. <sighs> In our bottle. Look at that. And down in the top of the water. Icicles on the top. 
icicles in the water. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. If you need a cold, refreshing drink, there you go, mom. <laughs> I'd like some hot tea, please. Or hot cocoa. Ooh. What about a beer? No, that's cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, if you had need some cold tea, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, slushy. Mom, watch your head. Okay. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> Guess what, Greta? <laughs> what? We reached the 1600 mile mark. Woo! Look at this. 1600. Woo, that means we have less than 600 miles to go. Yeah! Almost to Georgia. Almost there, yeah. Woo! First mileage marker picture in the snow. Hopefully the last. I don't think it's gonna be our last. <laughs> but I'm proud of you, Mom. One, proud of you too. 1,600 miles is a long way, so. Hey, it's kind of like uh, Maine to Southern Virginia. That's kind of how far it is, yep. <laughs> proud of you, Mom. Proud of you too, Greta. We're doing good. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're crossing over I-77. Here we go. It's a little cold out. <laughs> Ooh. Here, Mom, I got something for you. Yeah. <laughs> Made it back to the hostel, 18.6 miles. Woo! <laughs> so uh, we had a pretty long road walk at the end, and uh, we just had Julie, our hostel owner, pick us up and from the trail and bring us back to the hostel. So we're gonna go in, take showers, get warm, and have something to eat. Or probably eat something first. We're starving. <laughs> Probably eat when we get in there and then shower and then eat again and then maybe eat some more. Yeah. And Julie's coming <laughs> back at 5 30 to make us dinner. Yay! Veggie burgers and like a gazillion fries. The fries. <laughs> they tasted so good yesterday. We're having the exact same thing. Yes, so good. So we're going to do all of that, get lots of rest, get off our feet, and then as always, back at it again tomorrow morning. Woohoo! All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye! Good morning. Good morning! It's day 121. We left our hostel this morning, weary feet. Amazing, amazing. Julie was spectacular. We really recommend you stay there. Um, she She'll did... make sure you never go hungry. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Very important. Yes, and it was truly a place to rest our weary feet. Plus, Julie gave, on behalf of Weary Feet Hostel, a donation to Parkinson's disease research. So thank you, thank, thank, you, Julie. thank you for that. It was amazing. And it's a little cold this morning. What are we doing today, Greta? It is. <laughs> um, we started the day hiking at 23 degrees today. Uh, all the snow that was on the ground yesterday while we were hiking still has not melted because it has not been above freezing yet. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be another cold day. <laughs> crunchy, but, crunchy. Yeah, crunchy. it's very been very crunchy so far. <laughs> but later today, it's supposed to warm up to like 36 degrees. Ooh. Ooh, and it's going to be sunny. Yeah. Right now, blue sky, few small clouds in the sky, but that should help with it being sunny. Yeah. Um, slight breeze, which always makes it a little bit colder up on the ridge, but overall, it's going to be a lovely day. Yes. We're going for a little over 20 miles to get uh -huh. us to the next hostel because tonight it's again going to be in the high teens, low 20s. So yeah. very, oh. very cold for sleeping. <laughs> so yeah. I got a big day planned today, but it's going to be a great day as always. Yes, yes. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's get hiking. Yeah. We're starting the day off hiking through this burned area of trees and it kind of extends pretty far on either side of us, but I don't know exactly when this burn happened or if it was controlled burn or what, but there are just down trees everywhere and just charred trees everywhere, but you don't, we don't see that every day. Are you staying warm, mom? Oh yes. <laughs> I'm actually getting hot. I unzipped my puppy, yeah. took some of my gloves off. I was wearing two gloves, yeah. took my, Gator down, my buff. Yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah. Well, we just turned the corner, so now we're facing into the wind. So that'll cool us down. 
Buff might be going right back up. Yeah. <laughs> These are rhododendron, or what did Julie call them? I don't remember. We think they're rhododendrons. Mountain laurel? Yeah, mountain something or rhododendron. So if you know what these bushes are, plants, they're everywhere. They're in like little tunnels along the AT. But I thought they were know. magnolias, but I guess that's a variety that's further <laughs> south. And they're all curled up on themselves. I wonder if they'll open back up or if this is just they're the cold. Beginning, beginning of them freezing. Look at them all curled together for warmth. <laughs> <laughs> they're so sweet. They're cute. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my Jesus. goodness. Beautiful. This way too. <laughs> even, even the bridge is pretty. It's got stone pylons underneath. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Look at this. Bridge, the stone there. Beautiful day. <laughs> Just finished lunch at the Jenkins Shelter. We shared the picnic table there with six volunteers from the Piedmont Appalachian Trail Club. Mm -hmm. They were maintaining the trail in the area. They're working on a footbridge covered a beautiful, very happy stream. <laughs> and uh, so they came up and we chatted and- It was awesome. So many volunteers, I guess. They said there's about six different clubs in the giant state of Virginia that has the most miles of trails of the Appalachian Trail. So it was awesome to meet them. Thank you so much to the thousands of volunteers that maintain the Appalachian Trail and put in work every single year. So thank you so much for your work, it does not go unnoticed. Uh, we are starting our climb up to the next ridge. Uh, the shelter was kind of down at the bottom um, by the water source. Now we're climbing back up so they get to the top of the next ridge to start our next ridge walk. But it's about 1800 foot climb over 2.7 miles. So pretty steep. Yeah. We're already sweating. I'm like glistening in the sun. Yeah. Pull my buff down. <laughs> Yeah, it's good because the climbs keep us warm, but then we warm. sweat. Yeah, and then we get cold, yeah. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, but thank you again so much to all the volunteers. You help keep this trail beautiful. Yes. So thank you. Good job, mom. Keep grinding. dripping sweat we made it to the top of the ridge <laughs> good job mom's a little tired <laughs> got all the greenery here though that's new it's very pretty and the big rocks and the moss and the ferns yes it's so cool it's green we haven't seen this much green in a while yeah. not typical of virginia <laughs> No, but we're walking next to this ginormous like rock wall walk formation and just kind of continues. So gives us something to look at. It's very pretty. No, <laughs> I just look at my feet. <laughs> Don't want you to fall. No. Good job on that climb. Uh, it's exhausting. Haven't had to climb that steep in a while, but only five miles left to get to Burke's Garden Hostel. Yay. I know, and it's kind of sort of flat, just kind of sort of though. We got a lot of big rocks here though. <laughs> Yes, as, as we speak, that is in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> and my feet are sore. I think our shoes are worn on. Yes, our <laughs> current shoes have gone over 800 miles, but we'll get new shoes tomorrow night. So After a 25 mile day. After a 25 mile five day. Five miles today, so. Yeah. 30 more miles, baby, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the hostel. Okay. Got off the AT, we're walking down the road to the hostel. How far we gotta go, Greta? Half a mile. We made it to Burke's Garden Hostel. Woo! Yay. This is what the inside of Burke's Garden Hostel looks like. So you come inside there. Uh, and this is what the common area looks like. Kind of two swinging, hanging chairs. Um, mother. <laughs> Kitchen area is over there. It's actually pretty nice. They are known for their waffles here. So it's make your own waffles in the morning. So they have mix here and you just make your own there at the waffle maker. <laughs> Guitar, of course, for some music. 
and it is chilly, chilly, chilly in here. So we have two heaters plugged in and going. That one over there, and then that one also over there. Um, and really nice bathroom. Um, the light in there doesn't work right now. <laughs> we blew a fuse because of all the heaters, <laughs> but the bathroom's super nice. Uh, showers are there, those are really nice as well. Um, and then the bunk sleeping area is upstairs. Really cute, just decor and walls and very nice. Stairs up here. This is only the sleeping area up here. Um, but I have to have the bunks all laid out. Um, just a little table sitting area over there and each bunk has an outlet by it, <laughs> which hikers absolutely love. So it's really clean here, really nice. There is let's see, five total hikers here for the night, so not too bad of a stay. We made it to Burke's Garden Hostel. We did 20.6 miles today. Yeah. It's cold outside. <laughs> Feels warm in here, but the um, other hostel guests said it was a little cold after they sat here a while. So we'll see. <laughs> it feels really warm to us yes. after coming in from inside. And had a cup of uh, nice warm water, so that helps a ton. It was a good, good day today. Good, strong 20 mile day today. And we're going for a pretty ginormous day tomorrow. So we need to get to bed early and it's early right now. It's not even 545. So yeah. get some good dinner in us, get a shower, um, maybe do some laundry. Uh, but then get some good sleep and back on trail tomorrow for a really big day. Yeah. All right. Good. We'll see you guys in the morning. Night. Hey, everybody. Ron here. Um, I'm excited today because Sue and Greta are just making ground left and right. And uh, there's no question they're going to make it. Um, and it's a little cold out for them right now. But um, they are from Minnesota. And Minnesotans are tough, tough people. And they can take the cold. So they're doing well. But they've got a couple of blankets and a little bit of uh, warmer clothing that they put on, so it helps them out quite a bit. Uh, for today, we're gonna bring Eve in the picture, and uh, our friend Dave, and uh, Dave comes to us here to the Twin Cities just for the weekend, and uh, he's a great guy. Hello, everyone. Uh, we've got Eve there with him, and uh, she's worried about mom and Greta, but um, she's doing fine. And uh, that brings me to my joke of the day, uh, what did, did my dog say when I asked her what's two minus two? Nothing. Talk to you later, everybody. Have a great week.